welcome back on board Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas, day number two of our sailing, and we find ourselves in... <gasps> Naples, Italy! Yes, yeah, so it's time for some pizza, of course. This is considered the birthplace, definitely the birthplace of the margarita pizza at the least. So, we're gonna take some in, walk around, see the sights, no excursion plan today. We're just gonna bandy about on our own. So let's go ahead and get it started. Day number two on board Odyssey of the Seas, and here Naples, Italy begins right now. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Scuttles back, back, back. He's our friend, friend, friend. <laughs> Scuttles back, Scuttles back, Scuttles back. By the way, we decided to name our Avery friend Scuttle. After the Walt Disney classic Beauty and the Beast. Hey, it's Tuesday and it's the second day. Oh. That like never happened. <laughs> Look, melty metal. <laughs> Outstanding. You got huge mountains, lots of buildings, lots of different colors, domes on some of the buildings. Look at that big building up on that huge hill up there. And then this castle. Yeah, I was. Look at that castle. I wasn't expecting to see that there. That is awesome. That that's like a proper castle. Okay, Here's our times for today. And we're in Italy! Uh, Still! <laughs> <laughs> but specifically, Napoli! Naples. So when you come off the ship, you come through this like long like shopping mall thing that you like have to walk through to exit. Um, so if you need, <laughs> if you want to get some souvenirs, it won't be hard to find because you walk through like a bajillion shops, but we're at the end of that now, we're exiting into the real city. You know, us coming to Napoli is kind of like the equivalent of you like making the pilgrimage back to your homeland. <laughs> I love pizza. My favorite food always has been, it always will be. Now where we're gonna grab a slice, Port was down that way. See that big castle's right here? We just crossed the street and we're coming down this way. And that's where we're gonna go get a slice. It's like I'm in the middle of West Side Story. Maria, are you up on one of those balconies? This is awesome. And speaking of West Side Story, we were just saying how, um, like so far, this is kind of reminding us of New York. A lot. When we were in Rome, we said similar, obviously different because Rome is so much older. Eternal city, it's so ancient. But kind of the way it works and the trains and stuff, but this really, really reminds me of it. Biggest difference, more of an incline. Yes. Walking up and down more hills. <laughs> Bring comfy shoes. Well, this was our destination based on great reviews on Google, but closed. Not sure exactly what this says, but I think it means it's closed for the week, right? And we're smack dab in the middle of those dates, so gotta find somewhere else. Not too far away, we found our option number two, and I will say it gets credit for some nice aesthetic. Do you feel like you're getting the full Italian experience right now? <laughs> this is amazing. I love this song. Who does it? Weirdos. <laughs> I'm also about to break my own protocol. I do not eat pizza for the night before, but this occasion calls for that, so. When in Rome, when in Napoli. <laughs> Pizza we've ever had. 
outstanding. I mean, eight euros for eight, that whole pizza. <laughs> eight euros. I would, if we lived here, I would get that every day. Ah, just those natural ingredients, fresh, coming through, no added stuff to it. You can't beat it. Maples did not disappoint. What's funny is we actually ordered a margarita and then. They don't speak it. They speak Italian. So I'm pretty sure she was saying the bufalina is like the margarita, but it's better. And so we said, ah, all right, let's do it. So we technically had a bufalina, but oh. But it was it was like a margarita. It was red sauce, mozzarella, and basil. That's what a margarita is. It was delicious. To give you some perspective. That's the margarita, and then they recommend us getting this one, the bufalina, which was a good, I don't care. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend the Bufalina if you come here, because holy cow, so good. Whoa, inside where you pay, they have this awesome, like, I, I don't even know what this is, it's like a little village. That is so cool. And a pizza clock! Who doesn't want a pizza clock? If I could take that for our Christmas decor collection, Totally would. <laughs> interesting about Italy. It's just like, oh, you're walking around and like, oh, they're selling some phone cases over there. Oh, here's this ginormous old statue thing. I don't know, it's just like it's so old, but there's like modernness around you. It's kind of cool. Bells, sing the bells, sing the bells, sing the bells, the bells of Napoli. <laughs> King Pepe? No, not King Pepe, but King Pepper. I like it. Remember the nutcracker you showed back at the restaurant? I do! That was a great segue, because we now find ourselves in Christmas Alley. I don't know why this is Christmas Alley, but it is an alley dedicated to Christmas. And of course, we love Christmas. Lights, ornaments, and decorations, and music, and movies. All that good stuff. Ooh, we also love Christmas villages. These are done really well. That makes it look so natural with like the moss and the grass they put up on them. It's pretty cool. Okay, these are all really cool because they move and do stuff, but the winner, without a doubt, is this one. They're making the pizza pie. Oh my gosh. If I wasn't worried about that totally getting destroyed in our luggage back home, purchase right now. I wish we brought an extra suitcase just to like fill with this like Christmas village stuff and make our own like little Italian village scene for the holidays. I love this so much. We have to get something. We have to get at least a little something to put in our Christmas collection because this is so cool. <laughs> We just bought something from this location. We'll show you once we're back on board. It's all wrapped up, but we'll, we'll show you because it is incredible. Chelsea's making another purchase right now. And look, these are hand painted. We keep seeing more pepper things and more things with like the peppers with the crowns. And I think we figured out that means like, it's like good luck, like a good luck charm. So that makes sense. Look, this one actually uses water. There's water flowing through that, so she's actually washing that little blanket. That is so fun. Man, you got pizza, 
and Christmas in the same day. It's like, it's like today was made for Matt. We came over here to this very grand looking basilica. There's even someone playing a piano over there. But that is not why we came over to this area of town. We have a date with Pizza Destiny. The birthplace of the margarita pizza. Brandy, you're a pie girl. I don't remember if it was Queen Mar Margarita. Yeah, it was Queen Margarita. We learned this in Rome because we saw her tomb in the... Pantheon. Pantheon, thank you. Is um, It was made for Queen Margarita for um, her birthday. And the reason why it was uh, tomato sauce with the white bread and the basil is because it makes the Italian flag and she was Queen Margarita. So that's why they made that pizza for her. So a lovely couple we met on our Vespa tour told us that this was the name of the spot. They had been here. Unfortunately, it's closed for today. We were gonna grab some margarita pizza here, but as you can see, not open for today. We knew that when we arrived. We checked on Google and it said that, but we thought we'd come over and look at it anyways. So there you go. Confirmation that our research was <laughs> correct. So if this location did not exist, they did not make that first pie, the pizza that you know and love would not be in existence. Do you have any special words you would like to say to this promised land that you've arrived at? Grazie. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise ships. And is that Mount Vesuvius? We found this little carnival park, which is not open and operating right now. But there's this carousel, and it has all Disney characters on it duck at the lady over there. Who else do we see? Jiminy Cricket? Jiminy. That's Mr. Cricket to you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Apparently, that is Castel de Waldo. And now that we're up top again, kind of give you an overview of uh, where we went today. So, got off the ship here, walked through there, out to the road, and kind of wound our way. But basically, we went straight up. And that's the pizza place we were going to go to that was closed. So then we kind of went that direction and found that other pizza place that we actually ate at. Once we were done there, we went... I don't know exactly how far, but somewhere over there kind of further back and we went to Christmas Alley and then once we got done there we went <laughs> all the way back near that where that first pizza place was that we ate at then we walked over to the uh, what, what was the name I forgot uh, the Brandy Oh, Brandy. Brandy. You're uh, a fine pizza. That's what I had to think of the song to help me remember. And that was over there. And once we got done with that, we kind of walked over through that plaza to the end, down by the uh, the sea there, and then we walked up. Did I see that park, that green space there? That's the park where the carousel and all that fun stuff was. And we walked down the street by the castle, back here, grabbed the flag, handed it off, and we won this. We won a fun day in Naples. I love this place. It was great. This was like a very good place to kind of like piddle, like especially since like we had an idea what we wanted to do. We wanted to get pizza. We wanted to go to Christmas Alley, see where pizza was originated. Like it was good for that. And like the alleyways and 
stuff. Like we're super cool. Like I really enjoyed it. Really, I mean, thoroughly enjoyed this place. This is one of my favorite ports we've ever been to. And you know, we'll encourage you. I know a lot of people are fearful of, of going out on your own without an excursion. And we totally understand that. And you do want to be safe and do your research and things like that. But we'd encourage you to go out and venture out on your own because sometimes it is quite worth it and you can have a great time like we did. Oh, and a handy tip as well, as I zoom in here on this big mountain with the big building on top. Uh, Google Maps, you can download an offline map to use when you don't have service, which is what I've been doing. Now you can't put in like step-by-step -step directions after that, but you can, you know, put in a place that you want to go and it'll show you your active GPS location even without service. And then you can kind of just use that to help you navigate. So, fun tip. <laughs> too hungry, but if you remember from the last time we sailed on Odyssey, Cafe 270 has a snack here that we are particularly interested in. Yes! Secured! And don't forget, everything at Cafe 270 is completely free, including the chips. So I suggest going and grabbing a handful and taking them back in the room in case you need a snack later on. We came back to the room with our snacks, but we lied. Well, we didn't lie. We weren't that hungry, but then we saw the food and got hungry. So we also got some sandwiches and a salad and we're going to enjoy our view of bright Naples. There we go, regular Naples. Hello there. <laughs> hey, you guys want to see our souvenirs? Let's take a look. Da, 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 da. First, we got a magnet a pizza pie. Yeah. Then we got a lucky pepper ornament. But the best one. The best is the Vespa. A real Vespa, just like we rode. Santa Pecorino. A green one with sidecar. That's exactly what we rode in Rome. We had to get that. So I mean, come on. Now we have a little green Vespa like we rode forever. Excellent. I love it. Oh started moving. We can't leave. This place is too amazing. Well, luckily we've got some other amazing places in store. The rest of the itinerary. I will miss this one. I cannot wait to come back here. Wait, is that you? Wait, Scuttle. Oh, there's Scuttle. Wait, no. I is that Scuttle? Are you Scuttle? That's okay. Take your time. <laughs> All right. As hard as it is, we must say goodbye to Naples. And Italy for the rest of this cruise. That's right. We will not see Italy until we return, until the cruise is over. We're back in Rome. So goodbye for now, Italy. Bye for now, Naples, because we definitely want to come back. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Arrivederci. There's like a bridge cloud. The sun just went behind that strip of cloud. That's not, like I know it's kind of hard to tell, but that, that's a cloud going across there. That's wild. All right, friends, that is going to do it for us here on day number two on board Odyssey of the Seas and of course in Naples. That was fantastic. Oh my gosh, yeah, such a fun day. Highly recommend getting pizza in Naples. 
definitely recommend going to Christmas Alley. I mean, you got pizza and Christmas all in one day. And a beautiful sunset at that, so. It was just a was trifecta fantastic. of perfect adayness. <laughs> Tomorrow we will be back on board Odyssey of the Seas, of course, day number three, but it is a day at sea. No destination tomorrow, so we'll see what fun we'll be getting to on board. Hey, of course, if you're interested in coming on board your own Mediterranean cruise, sailing with Royal Caribbean all around the world, we can help make that happen as travel agents. It would be our pleasure. It's completely free to you. It costs you absolutely nothing to use our services, and we'd love to help. So feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. Find it in the description of this video. I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number three, on board Odyssey of the Seas. But we're signing off for tonight. See you tomorrow. Happy travels! I win the moon, hit your eye like a big pizza pie. That's some more rain. Arrivederci. <laughs>